हे मेकर्स दिस इज रुवीन एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू पावर एफ स्टेप बाय स्टेप बिगिनर सीरीज यू आर वॉचिंग द फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड इन दिस एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज पावर एफ्स वॉट टाइप ऑफ डिफरेंट थिंग विच यू कैन अचीव विद द हेल्प ऑफ पावर एफ्स एंड वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट सम रियल लाइफ यूज केसेज एंड एग्जाम्पल्स दैट यू बिल्ड विद पावर एफ्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैवेंट फॉलोड मी ऑन माई इंस्टाग्राम एंड ट्विटर सो फार प्लीज डू फॉलो मी सो विदाउट फर्दर डिले let's get started so let me first talk about what do we mean by power apps and why do we need to use power apps basically power apps is used to build the applications that allows you to take action on your data now let me give you some examples let's say for an example you have some paper based form or you have some existing legacy solution or you have spreadsheets which you are passing among your employees to work upon now you want to manage those individual things into the proper solution at the time you can use the power apps let's say for an example whatever the handwritten paper form you have you can convert into your power apps form also if you have some legacy system and you have some sort of approval mechanism followed in your organization you can build the overall application in the power apps there are lots more capability it's very easy to learn it is using a low code or no code solution let's say for an example in the excel you are using the formula to calculate like is equal to sum is equal to mean is equal to max power apps uses the similar language called power fx in order to build your logic it's very easy to learn and implement for your organization so using the skills and knowledge you can build to interact with your existing data with more than 600 plus connectors now the question arises in your mind that what do we mean by connector so power apps is easy to use it is providing drag and drop mechanism to build a forms and application for your organization but what make power apps special the answer is their connectors you can connect 600 plus data sources inside the power apps either you can connect your excel you can connect your sql server you can connect your mysql you can connect your sharepoint you can connect your apis with power apps so that connectors make power apps special you can check the whole bunch of list of connector which are supported by power apps on the official website also there is one more interesting beauty about power apps it is cloud based and it supports different cross platform like mobile devices windows application uh, android application ios application as well as into your browser so you don't need to worry about too many things just develop your app using web and publish it and from different devices you can easily use it so if i summarize everything power apps is a suite of apps services and connectors as well as a data platform that provides a rapid development environment to build custom apps for your business needs now let me talk about top 12 key reasons to choose the power apps so the first is it is cloud based as well as secure second is it has zero downtime during the maintenance it is low code solution which doesn't require too many coding skills fourth is it is available across all the devices as i mentioned just develop the application it can be accessed through your web browser from your tablet from your android devices ios devices and they have a dedicated power apps application for mobile as well also it has 600 plus connectors sixth important reason is it can be easily integrate with the other power platform product like power automate power bi and power virtual agents also it is easily integrated with microsoft 365 as well so that's amazing it also provide pro code extensibility so obviously it's a low code solution but let's say if you are a pro code developer and you want to integrate some code based thing inside the power apps that is also possible uh, power apps provide power apps component framework mechanism where you can build your own custom control and deploy that into your apps so that flexibility is also available also if you are using the model driven applications you can build lots of custom solutions on top of that as well so that's amazing the ninth important reason is that it has strong governance and security in place 
The tenth important thing is it supports the modern SharePoint pages as well. That's the most important thing. And we can say as a replacement of InfoPath form as well. So Microsoft is going to deprecate the InfoPath form and in replacement you can build the power apps to make the similar work of InfoPath that you are doing. And the twelfth important reason is that flexibility to write the custom connectors as well. Let's say for an example you have some sort of data source which doesn't involve into the 600 plus connector. So at that time you can write up your own custom connector to connect with your data. So that's a cool factor. So these are the top 12 reasons to choose the power apps. There are more than that but these are top 12. Now let's talk about what type of power apps you can create. So at this moment you can create canvas apps, model driven app and portal apps. Now let me talk about those things in detail. But before that let me just clarify you one thing. At this moment we have canvas app, model driven app and third is portals. Now in Microsoft build 2022 Microsoft announced a new product called power pages. So, Portal is something which is present at this moment as is, but moving forward, these portals are converted to Power Pages. So, I am going to create a dedicated series on Power Pages in upcoming time. So, don't forget to subscribe my channel for that. So, let's talk about this thing in detail now. What do we mean by Canvas, Model Driven, and Portal or Power Pages? Let's see. So, first of all, let's talk about the Canvas apps. So. The first question arises that what do we mean by canvas? Canvas apps has its meaning inside its word itself. Canvas means it is a great way to start from the blank canvas. We know that let's say consider this PowerPoint slide. So it is called as a canvas where I place the different element like square, text, uh, let's say if I want to add any images or shapes, I am adding everything onto the canvas. And this canvas is something which allows user to build the application without writing a single line of code. You don't need to write any complex code like C Sharp. The design is something like in your office application or in your PowerPoint what you are doing to build anything like you are just dragging and dropping the different element and the app is created for you. So the same thing applied over here as well that in the canvas the development is very easy. And if you want to write any logic you need to use excel like formula. So the overall process overall meaning of canvas is it is providing you the pixel perfect blank canvas where you can start building your application by dragging and dropping different thing. And and if you want to implement some logical part, you can use Excel like formula called as Power FX. And obviously, when we are developing the thing, uh, you will get a better idea on the Canvas apps. So this is the first type. And this entire series is totally dedicated on the Canvas app itself. If you wanted to learn more about model driven apps and Power Pages in the future, I have dedicated playlist on that already on my channel. For model driven apps, I already have a dedicated series and for power pages, mostly next month I am planning to build up the series on top of that. Now let me talk about in which scenario the canvas apps suits the best. So let me talk about couple of examples over here. So let's say if you wanted to build some sort of live application or let's say you wanted to manage some type of device ordering and booking system or asset management, you can use the canvas apps. Now there is no solid principle that you know you should always use canvas app or model driven app. Based on your convenience and based on your flexibility you can choose the appropriate app. So let's say for an example I am building the live application system with the canvas app. But I can build the same application using the model driven app as well. So there is no strong principle for that. Now when I use the canvas it is providing you the pixel perfect interface which means that it is providing you blank canvas you can and you have a flexibility to add everything depending on your need while in case of model driven you need to always compromise with couple of user interface thing. So uh, the canvas apps is more useful when you have pixel perfect user interface you want to build and there are many other things which we will discuss later on this series. So these are some common example which you can build with the canvas apps. Now let me talk about what do we mean by model driven app. So model driven app. So the meaning of the app is inside its name itself. Model means data. So this is 
the model driven app is driven by the data and it is always backed by the dataverse. You can build the different type of forms, views, dashboard, business process flows using the model driven app. And in model driven app, there is a component focused development approach and you are able to build no code or low code apps based on the model driven app. The beauty of model driven app is it is 100% responsive and it supports native offline capability. Now I talked the different points about model driven apps. So now let me talk about what are the main key highlights here and how it is different from the canvas app. So as we see in canvas app, you can connect more than 600 plus data connectors. But while in your model driven app, it is always backed by the data source. You can't connect any other data sources inside the model driven app apart from Dataverse. Obviously, there is a functionality provided recently by Microsoft to introduce canvas pages inside the model driven app. So that is the integration piece. Now you can integrate your canvas inside your model driven. So that opens up the flexibility to add more than 600 connectors. But Remember one thing, model driven is always backed by the Dataverse. So if you have a requirement where you want to connect multiple data sources at that time, choose the Canvas app. So that would be the best appropriate solution for you. All right. Second important thing here, we can see that model driven app is responsive by nature. While in case of Canvas app, it's not fully responsive by nature. But yes, you can make that responsive by adding the different responsive containers as well inside your Canvas app. And for this responsive net, I have a dedicated series over here on my YouTube channel already. All right. Third important thing is that offline capability, which is natively integrated with the model driven app. While in case of Canvas app, you need to write couple of functions like save data and load data to make the app offline capable. All right. Also, model driven app is basically used for like, let's say you have some sort of data structure already in place in your system and you want to build some sort of form or some sort of back office behind the scene. You can choose the model driven app. Now you can sometimes choose the fusion approach as well for your application. So let's say for an example, let me talk about leave application system. So let's say you created your front end means end user module with the help of canvas app. That's fine because it is providing pixel perfect user interface and provide the flexibility to design the form by your own. But you can use the behind the scene processes via model driven app. So let's say once data is stored, you can store the data into Dataverse. You can build some sort of model driven app to process those leave requests. Like let's say you want to create behind the scene dashboard or let's say for managers, you want to create some sort of dashboard or forms. You can use the model driven app. So you can use this fusion approach as well for your application. So it's totally depending on you. Now, let me talk about couple of example of model driven app. So mostly Dynamics 365 apps are developed with the model driven app. Also, let's say some employee onboarding process like when employee is joining uh, so far, there is a whole sort of process like their interview process, their technical interview, their final selection, day one process, their uh, onboarding process, their uh, device giving process. So everything you can manage with the model driven app, some sort of inventory system you want to manage or some sort of device tracking you want to do with the model driven app, you can easily build up. Now, let me talk about the third type of power apps which is called as Power Apps Portal at this moment. But moving forward, it will be a separate product called Power Pages. All right. So currently you are watching this video and you are seeing Power Apps Portal as a part of uh, Power Apps type. But moving forward in future, when you are watching this video, Power Pages will be a separate product. Power Pages or Power Apps Portal based for the external facing website. It provides simple drag and drop experience to develop the Power Apps Portal or Power Apps Pages. And it is also backed by the Dataverse. It provides anonymous access data. Also, it supports different type of authentication with various identity provider like Facebook, Google, LinkedIn and much more. So basically, Power Apps Portal is used to build up some self-service portal where you want to create a form which is anonymous accessible or data which is anonymous accessible. Or if you don't want to make that anonymous, it is providing the different identity provider as well. 
So for those purposes, you can use the Power Apps portal. Now let me give you some of the example of Power Apps portal. So as I told you, self service portal can be built up with the Power Apps portal or let's say you have some partner management portal or if you wanted to build some sort of FAQ portal for your organization, you can choose the Power Apps portal or Power Pages. And don't worry for these Power Pages, in the next month I am going to launch the full new series from start to end. So stay tuned. So that's all about the basic introduction about the Power Apps. Now in my next video, we will be talking about basic toolings which we can use with the development of Power Apps and we will get started with the development process step by step. So see you in the next video. Meantime, if you haven't followed me on my YouTube channel so far, please hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for any training or consultation, this is the website and you can follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and other social media handles from this channel. And don't forget to subscribe my another channel, Digital Thruvin. So that's all for today's episode. See you in the next episode.